Hey y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson here with Southern Crush at Home, where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. And tonight, I decided to get on here and go live and share with you guys what all I found today. Thank you for the like so soon. Yes, you probably saw my description. We are going to share, or I'm gonna share, my thrift store haul with you. Will that be good? I uh, went live this, mo uh, this morning. It was this afternoon at the candy store because we are in the process of putting together a vintage uh, Easter basket. Good evening, Wendy, Faye, Shannon. How are you? Hey, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. Um, and Christina. So as you hop on, thanks for saying hey. Be sure to share the video. Um, I appreciate you. So here's what went down. We I, sh I shared with you guys live at the candy store, and I didn't have a whole lot of luck. I got some things for the basket, yes but um, it, there wasn't a lot, but that's okay. Then I was like, I've got to get a basket, right? So the best place personally that I found to find baskets is the thrift store, right? Well, in our uh, the big town that's closest to us, we have like um, maybe five or six thrift stores. It's like a lot of thrift stores. And um, hey, Melissa. And we, uh, there was one in particular that was open because usually they're not open on Monday. They're usually closed on Monday. So I got really lucky and I went in to the one um, that was open. Anyway, I don't want to rattle on and on and on because I got tons of stuff and I just want to share it with y'all. Hey, Jenny. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to share something and I want you to guess how much I paid. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna make it a game, okay? Uh, we are gonna play the guessing game. Hey, Ramona. So let's just get started. All right, and just bear with me here. All right, I have lots, lots. Okay, some of it's not really fair because some of it has a price tag on it. Let me see, I don't know if I can get it off. I got it a little bit off. Oh, uh, let's see here. All right. So I found, and I found also that you can get so many crafts at the thrift store. And so, or craft um, supplies, supplies. Hey, Tana. Hey, Janine. How are you? All right. You guys guess, what did I pay for this? Can you see? Can you see? I know my ring light's really bright um, because it's so dark in here. This is a huge box of washi tape. Oh, Tanya, I was in trouble today. There we go. A huge, let me let me move the ring light, y'all. Hold on. Y'all tell me what you think um, I paid for this washi tape. Look how many boxes there are. 50 cents, Karen? That's good. A dollar, Sharon? Um, it's actually two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So 18 times two, 36, 38, 40, 42. It's 45 rolls of washi tape. 45 rolls of washi tape. I got it for $1.91. I don't know how they come up with their prices, y'all. <laughs> it was $1.91. So this particular thrift store has weird pricing. But a dollar ninety one, and I got all this washi tape. I was so excited. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but that's kind of the name of the game, isn't it? You can see all the different ones in here. I guess I have it. I don't really have it upside down, but they have like Halloween and Cheers and Valentine's and Christmas and all the all the different holidays. So I thought, woo, we can do that. Okay, I got this awesome picture frame that I'm going to paint. So I got it for the shape. You can kind of see the shape better up here, but it's got like a ripple shape. And I got this picture frame. 
Vicky washi tape. It's just um, cute tape that you can use to, to craft with. Hey, Donna. Thanks for joining, Lene. Um, okay, so here we go. What do you think I paid for this picture frame? $1.90, Karen. Girl, and of course you know this is going to be the one thing. Oh, you saw it. It's on there. It's $1.91. It's the same price as the washi tape. So $1.91 for this picture frame that I am actually going to use this way, and I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it to go into um, my living room here. All right, one more, one more picture frame that I'm going to show you. And the price is already on it, so you'll see it there too. Another $1.91. So this picture frame, the reason I picked this one, and it's good, it's in shape, good shape, and both of them were Hobby Lobby, but they came from the thrift store. And this one, um, I am not going to paint, but I bought this bunch of sticks, and we're going to um, do a craft with these two things. I'm going to get out of the picture and show you. So the sticks and the frame are going to go together and they are going to make a really, really cute uh, rustic frame that we'll do in another project. But yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the bundle of sticks. <laughs> $1.99, Wendy. $1.91. $1.91 has been everything so far. Each thing has been $1.91. I don't know why. All right, y'all. So then there's this. Then there's this. Okay, these are just getting a little bit harder to find. They are actually, they kind of open all the way like this, and then they collapse all the way like that. And it can be a hat rack, or you can just hang all sorts of stuff off of it. Um, I got it from my husband. He wanted one of these. I don't know why. I might paint it uh, a cute color, but it's actually a decent color of wood. And this, do y'all want to guess what, how much this was? And I can read it. Okay. <laughs> 50 cents? No. And yes, that's about what I probably should have paid for it. But um, no, Shannon, it wasn't a dollar. Higher. Y'all are getting warmer. Warmer. This was $2.92. This was $2.92. So, yeah. All right. Yes, Tanya, I know. They're strange. All right, y'all. I found this set. Oh, and it's got the price on it, too, but I'm just going to let y'all see it. Melissa, you were close. Three fifty one. dollars Okay. Uh, this is a set of stamps, y'all. So, what I'm going to do with these, it's all different stamps. And you could just go crazy with stamps, but this has never been opened. It's uh, originally $9.99. Um, it doesn't tell me where from, but it's wood stamps, and I am going to put chalk paste or um, chalk ink on these and stamp all sorts of things. I'm going to stamp all sorts of things with these. So I got this set of one, two, three, four, five, six stamps for two ninety two. You can see the price right there. <laughs> Yes, Sally Way. Isn't that fun? So we will be doing some stamping projects. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, um, let's see. That was something for my husband. Another something for my husband. Y'all don't want to see that. I don't think so. Okay. Then they had these random bags. So they were just, um, you know, like grab bags. And I think it's where they take all the things and then they just kind of bunch them in bags and they put a price on it and I think it's genius I think it's genius I think it's like if they have one thing that's awesome and then five things that aren't you're gonna buy the bag because you want the one thing that's awesome and they get to get rid of the five things that aren't I don't know I don't know but this bag is all good this bag is all good I got this bag of random yarns. So this is an awesome taupe colored yarn and it's a full skein. So that's a full skein of yarn. This is that awesome Chanel, Chanel, however you say, <laughs> Captain and Chanel. Anyone know Captain and Chanel? <laughs> anyway, Chanel, Nil, however you say it, 
uh, ribbon, or I'm sorry, yarn. And then an ivory skein of yarn that has never been opened. It, I don't even know what kind of material it is, but it's a cream colored one. And then this off-white one. So this is an off-white one. This one's more ivory, off-white, taupe, and then chenille. And guess what I paid for this whole bag? Yes, I know it's Captain and Sunil, but I uh, was just trying to do play on words. Kind of backfired. All right. How much do you think this whole thing was? This says, this original one right here says it was Hobby Lobby for $3.99 just for this roll of yarn. I don't know how much yarn normally is. I don't typically buy it, but I knew I could use all of these and I have a specific project for us for the yarn. Karen's guessing $2. Shannon's guessing $2.91. Susie is guessing $3. Susie, you are really close. Melissa's $3.93. Melissa, you are over by a little bit. And so Susie was the closest without going over at $3.09. 309 for this bag of one, two, three, four skeins of yarn for three dollars. And they're all nice neutral colors. What do you think? What do you think? So I went in for one thing. One thing, y'all. I was looking for the basket, looking for the Easter basket. And I came out with so much other things. Oops. All right, so this is one of those really fun ceramic egg crates. So it's, it's you know, ceramic, you can see. And uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna really use it for eggs. I have a couple other ideas. And uh, I actually think I'm gonna put my jewelry in it. Um, necklace in each thing and a brace or a bracelet in each thing so that they don't tangle yeah and then I can put rings on top of this so I'm gonna probably use this as a really cute uh, jewelry um, holder Shannon that yarn was a steal good good I'm glad to hear that oh Sally you would use this for candles that's a good idea too what a cute idea all right guys this was a two ninety two er, but good guess, Shannon, a dollar. Okay, two ninety two for this ceramic thing, and I know for a fact these are way more, way more. I have to um wash it, of course. You have one in the fridge that's yellow for your eggs, Susie. That's awesome. I'm happy to say that I didn't find. Oh, well, let me just, let me just, let me just finish a couple more things show y'all a couple more things. All right, so I got these, y'all. I got these. These are called embroidery floss, okay? Embroidery floss, oh yeah, Ramona. Succulents would look good in that crate thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things of embroidery floss. Now, of course, if I desire, I can still do the needlepoint or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that project. Um, but I wanted these flosses that are in here. These flosses make amazing, um, make amazing tassels, okay? And I can show y'all how to make those, all right? So I've got these eight uh, embroidery flosses for guess how much? Oh, Sharon, did you see the price? You little stinker, I think you did. It said 59 cents. <laughs> 59 cents, that's what I paid. And that's about um, what one of these costs. And I think I got eight. Eight of, let's see what, I haven't even opened it. I got eight of the one color. And then I think that with that little kit, if they want you to do, I think it came with another color, yeah. So this isn't a tassel, but it's just some more floss. And you can use that floss to make a couple tassels too. And I love those colors. They're very neutral, and I will be mingling them with the cream ones. But yeah, so 59 cents for all of that. I think that was pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay, are y'all having fun yet? All right, 
this was, don't ask, I have no idea. I just saw, and do you know how you just get kind of like a little fever going when you're like finding stuff and you just seem like, ooh, and I like that and I want that and that works, works good? Um, yes, Susie. These, okay y'all, these are silver, I'm going to guess plate or something like that. They could be steel, I don't even know. Um, kind of a giraffe pattern, snake skin, um, napkin rings. I don't know, I really just dug them and I thought they were going to be awesome for um, my summer tablescape. So there was two, four, six, eight of them. I only have a seating for, for six, but it's all good. Uh, Melissa, you're gonna go thrifting tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. So eight, um, eight silverish um, kind of animal print. I oh, know it's hard to see with my light. Uh, animal print, whatever rings two bucks Sharon and you are the closest it's 209 209 for all of these pretty awesome okay I think I am I think I'm ready to show you the Easter stuff okay I'm pretty sure I went through all the regular stuff so I found this basket I found this basket for our vintage Easter basket, okay? And I liked it because it had a handle and it was wide and it has the holes all through it. And I thought that it's gonna make a really neat uh, vintage Easter basket. So this is gonna be our basket, y'all. And it was 95 cents, I think. Maybe it was a dollar 95. I don't even know, I don't even know. See, they write on it and then they mark it out and that's how they know it's on sale and then they write something else there and I can't read it so I have no clue. Let's just say it was inexpensive. We'll just say that. So yes, Shannon. So there's this basket that we're gonna build for um, an Easter, a vintage Easter basket. So I went in for one basket and I got this basket too. So this basket has a little bit of a handle opening there on both ends. You can kind of see the handle opening on both ends. This is a really substantial basket. I don't have the measurements on me, but I know it's a big one. It's big enough to hold uh, throws and magazines, and it was $4. This one was $4. Oh, Sally. Yes, Sharon, I do plan to paint some baskets. Um, I do. Ugh. Okay, y'all. Sorry. I have some, I have it all spread out. Okay. So then there's this basket. It's got hand, it's got those really substantial wooden handles. Um, it's dark. It's huge. This one was $4. Had to find the price. So this one, he, he, it's big, it's bigger than my head. Um, this one is big, and I don't know what I'm putting in it yet. Any ideas? Yes, paint and fill with tissue. Oh, yep, mm-hmm. Oh, thank y'all, I love this basket too. Give me some hearts. Um, if you're into baskets, they're usually really expensive. This one's a really dark brown basket, I love it, so. There's that. Oh, that's a good idea, Melissa. I may use a basket on the gallery wall. Clearly hasn't been done yet. That is on the list. Oh, a coffee bar. That's a great idea, Ramona. I love it. Okay, so I had to get this little basket. Just a little basket. I'm thinking for a plant. He was... 45 cents. You can either put like a little liner in there or you don't have to. Oh, that's a great idea, Cindy. I like that. Hang it on your wall with an initial in it. Cute. You guys have the best, bestest ideas. Oh, 
Kathy, it was in Denton, uh, Texas, and it was called Denton Thrift, I think. I don't know. Um, it's off university. So, yeah. Oh, yarn balls in the basket. That's a good idea, too. So, anyway, I got this little one for 45 cents. Okay, and then I got this one. And it's a different shape than the others, but I couldn't resist, and it has two good handles. I look for good handles that aren't falling off, they're not loose, no holes in the basket. It needs to be in good shape. Um, it's got a good solid bottom. You can see that there's nothing wrong with this basket at all. And uh, so anyone have any guesses on this one? Yes, Ramona, that, okay, so it is Denton Thrift, good. Sorry, my light is just, I don't even get it. Um, anyway, this one was on sale for $2.92, $2.92, and uh, so yeah, love it. Oh, Cheryl, you're cr crazy about baskets. Karen, you're really close, it was $2.92. I don't really get the whole, um, theory behind how they price things. It's just, it is just what it is. Okay, so last but not least, I want to go through the couple of Easter things that I grabbed because, um, yes, Sherry and Denton, um, because it was so fun. Let me, um, is that light too bright for y'all? It's all the way down. It does not have anything lower than this. Um, Okay, so I got a little bit of Easter grass. This was 95 cents. I kind of thought that was a lot for a thrift store. Of course, it's never been opened, but I'm going to use this color. It's neutral, and I'm going to use that with um, something else to, as a filler for the basket. So we got our basket. We're going to have filler. I'm not going to have too, too much filler because you want to leave space for the goodies, the good stuff. All right. So, I got this bag of eggs. Of course, there was one kajillion choices of bags of eggs, okay? Every color, every style, everything you could find, you could think of was there. Um, rose, actually, I took pictures. I think, I think I can post them in the comments below. Anyway, I grabbed this one. Of course, I paid $2.93 for it because I wanted these six, five or six of these that are on top. <laughs> and there they got rid of these colored eggs on me. And But I got the ones I wanted, which were these neutral colored eggs, right? There's another one and there's another one. So I'm going to be taking these eggs out of the bag and of, of goodies. <laughs> And I'm going to be using these in the basket. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. And thank you guys for sharing the video. I know I don't can never say it enough. Oh, I should have this turned around so you can see my smart money while we're, while we're videoing. I'm so weird. I just think I'm so weird. <laughs> okay. So I paid all that for that to get those few little eggs out of there, but it's all right. It's all right. Okay. I paid $2.42 for this goodie bag. Thank you, Cheryl, for sharing and letting me know. I paid $2.42 for this goodie bag to get a couple things out of here. And we're going to open it up so I can see. I can see what it is I wanted. Yes, I might put some uh, jute on the eggs. I hadn't decided yet. I have not decided yet. This was the main thing I wanted out of my 242 bag. Okay, it is a little vintage uh, porcelain egg. Okay, it's a vintage porcelain egg. It has a little hole in the back. It's porcelain. I loved it and I thought it was so dainty and delicate and even if I had to pay the $2.42 for just the egg, I wanted just this egg out of it, okay? This is going to go in our vintage Easter basket. I haven't even told y'all yet. 
I haven't even told y'all. I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna give away the Easter basket, the vintage Easter basket with the bunny in it, with the cotton ticking bunny in it, with all the goodies that we put in it. It is gonna be a giveaway. Give me some hearts for that. Tell me if you're excited to win because I know somebody wants to win it. Put Walmart bags in the bottom of your baskets. Yeah, I thought about bags. Um, I was thinking about, I'm actually gonna crumple up some craft paper because it's the same color as the grass. And I might use a little bit of craft paper in the bottom of the basket, but I don't really want to take up too much space because I have a ton of things I'm gonna put in it. A ton of things. So, um, how can you win the basket, okay? Yes, Janet's excited to win. <laughs> how can you win the basket? Well, always sharing the video. I am gonna combine the shares from this video and um, my main page when I post the actual basket. I'm gonna do it up. I'm gonna post a picture. I'm gonna stage it, post a really pretty picture of it list everything that's going to be in the basket and then ask you guys to share the page. So it's different from sharing the post. You guys get that, right? So instead of just hitting the share button on the post with the picture, you'll go to the page and share the page. Um, but I'm also going to add the shares from tonight's video. Yep. The shares from tonight's video. So this was, this is, really interesting. It's just a big yellow egg. I don't know that I'm going to put this in it, um, but it came in the, in the bass, in the, in the whatever bag. I'm telling you all, just random stuff comes in this. I mean, like, I don't want this. I don't want this. This, this isn't going anywhere. I don't, yeah. Um, it came with like this, I don't really know that I'm gonna use this for anything either, but I just wanted you to see, look, this is like on a fishing wire, another egg. And you know, they all have their place, but not in my vintage basket. This is another porcelain egg, but I'm not in love with it. Um, I do like some th parts of it. Okay, I don't, I don't love the colors, but, um, oh, Tabitha, thank you so much for inviting your friend to watch. Um, but I tell you what I do love on this this weird egg is uh, they put their initials J W when they made it and a year 1980. Can you see that 1980 on that egg? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I could repaint it. That's true, Melissa. You are so smart. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. You could chalk paint it. You guys are so crafty. You're so crafty. How about this? I'll get all the goods. You guys do the projects. I love it. No, I was considering using these things. That's why I wanted to open this and go through the whole thing. I'm considering using these little carrots because they're so cute. But there was three little carrots in there uh, with the porcelain egg. Uh, so I'm not certain the jury is still out on that. And then this is kind of vintagey. It's one of those peep uh, chirper things. Oh, it's trying to chirp. Can y'all hear it? My dog can, she's going nuts. So this is one of those. I could tie the bow on it and put him in the vintage basket. I might, I don't know. He still works. The battery is still in him. I like silly stuff like that. Okay. So I'm gonna put all this back in the bag. But this bag was the 242, and there were several things I don't really want, but I did want this vintage porcelain hand-painted egg. I'm gonna be putting this in with the ticking bunny. Okay, I have um one more goodie bag I think that I got and I know we stopped guessing the prices because they're just right here on it I didn't realize but this one was 343 y'all let's let's go through it real fast this was just a bag it caught my eye because it had the moss the pretty moss 
and um, and then it had this carrot in it, and I was like, oh, I want that bag. <laughs> That's right, Cheryl, you don't have to feed that bird. All right, let's just quickly see what's in this one. Okay, Ella. So this is what caught my eye. It was a nest. I don't know how I feel about this floral part, but it comes off really easy. So I'll probably pick this off. Ah, anyway, not probably while we sit here and wait, but um, I'll probably just nip it off. See, I've already got this grouped off and then leave it like a nest. And the, the floral part's not horrible. It's just, I'm not sure about if I'm gonna use those colors. And then this is um, the wooden bottom. So it's all, you know, the real deal. And I'm thinking of putting this in the basket. You know, that little bird might be really cute in here. I don't know, haven't decided, or at least the eggs. I was thinking the eggs um, for the basket, the nest in the basket. But yeah, I can't wait to show y'all the basket. It's gonna be awesome. I'd love to put it together live, but y'all, there's so much pressure when you put something together live. Um, I think I'll do a better job if I do it. Maybe I'll just practice it and then do it live. I could do that. I could practice it and then do it live for y'all. Okay, I'm not loving this at all. This was just in there. This is not anything I wanna use. Um, there's two of them. But they're a little vintagey. If I took the ribbons off, they might be kind of cute. What do you think? They're a little vintagey. I really wasn't going um, colorful for this basket. I was going more neutral, so I don't think that's gonna work. I had originally really wanted the nest, um, even if it was gonna end up being the 343, that was okay. Um, but I also had, see, had seen, had had. I also saw this carrot um, that I loved. I'm pretty sure this wouldn't be part of my basket, but I'm thinking I could definitely use this for something fun. So yeah, there's that. All right, I am not gonna go over every single piece of candy that I got today, um, but I did end up going after the Atomic Candy Shop, if you didn't see that video, go below and find it and watch. It's just such a really neat place and has so many cool things that um, you'll wanna see. Yeah. Okay, but I did stop at the Cracker Barrel, as most of you suggested, and I grabbed one of these. It's a Whirly Pop. This is going in the vintage Easter basket that we're gonna give away. And then I also grabbed this vintage checkers game because you need one of these. Uh, not You don't need one of these. You need uh, something fun when you get an Easter basket. So this is just for fun and it's gonna go in the basket. Some other things that I'm putting in the basket are gonna be um, a Southern Crush coffee mug with candies in it, and um, a dish towel that we're still gonna make. Hey Stephanie, how are you? And then just to kind of, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna go over every single candy that I got, but I got these sassafras things, no clue. I have no clue if they're good or not. Um, I don't even know what sassafras is but I'm reading it now and it says, if you like root beer, you'll love sassafras. So there's that. Um, and then I got, someone recommended the Goo Goo Cluster. I got that. And then I got the, the peanuts that I was eyeing because they look fun. A couple other things down in here and a whole bag of random vintage candies that I'm gonna fill the coffee mug with and send, so yeah. 
So, all right, y'all, that is it. That is the haul from the thrift store today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to share the video. These shares from this video will be added to the names for the winning of the uh, vintage Easter basket. I don't know why I can't remember how to say that. Oh, I'll share all your mom's favorite. Well, good. And I will post uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. when I'm ready to stuff the basket. I'll decide whether I'm gonna do it live or just stuff it, but either way, I'm gonna take a picture, list everything that's in it, and you guys can share the page once I do that and come back to that post and comment that you shared the page. And I will take those shares and the shares from tonight's video and that is what we'll do the drawing for, for the Easter basket. So it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. You guys saw the bunny, right? I don't even know where, I don't even, we've sold several of them. I don't know how many I have left. If you go to the shop to find one, um, you'll see how many we have left. Oh, yay, Debbie. Oh, it's your first time to watch. Well, welcome. We appreciate you and appreciate everybody that's been on here and, um, sat through my thrift store haul. Yay. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have an awesome night. Bye.